Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariah. Today's topic is Down Syndrome. In this video, I will cover everything about Down Syndrome. This video is research based. For the research in this video, I read two articles for this topic, but I only used one to gather information. I will include both articles in the video description box in case you want to read both of them. And the article I read and also used in this video is called Facts about Down syndrome and that's from the CDC website. What is Down syndrome? Down syndrome is a condition in which a person has an extra chromosome. Chromosomes are small packages of genes in the body. They determine how a baby's body forms and functions as it grows during pregnancy and after birth. Typically, a baby is born with 46 chromosomes. Babies with Down syndrome have an extra copy of one of these chromosomes, chromosome 21. A medical term for having an extra chromosome is trisomy. Down syndrome is also referred to as trisomy 21. This extra copy changes how a, bo a baby's body and brain develop, which can cause both mental and physical challenges for the baby. Even though people with Down syndrome might act and look similar, each person has different abilities. People with Down syndrome usually have an IQ in the mildly to moderately low range and are slower to speak than other children. Some physical features, some common physical features of Down syndrome include a flattened face, especially the bridge of the nose, almond-shaped eyes that slant up, a small, a short neck, small ears, a tongue that tends to stick out of the mouth. Tiny white spots on the iris or colored part of the eye. Small hands and feet. A single line across the palm of the hand, which is called a palmular crease. Small pinky fingers that sometimes curve towards the thumb. Poor muscle tone or loose joints. And shorter in height as children and adults. How many babies are born with Down syndrome? Down syndrome remains the most common chromosomal condition diagnosed in the United States. Each year, about 6,000 babies born in the U.S. have Down syndrome, which means that Down syndrome occurs in about one in every 700 babies. Types of Down syndrome. There are three types of Down syndrome. People often cannot tell the difference between each type without looking at the chromosomes because the physical and behaviors, sorry, the physical features and behaviors are similar. Trisomy 21. About 95% of people with Down syndrome have trisomy 21. This type, sorry, with this type of Down syndrome, each cell in the body has three separate copies of chromosome 21 instead of the usual two. Transitional, sorry, translocation Down syndrome. This type accounts for a small percentage of people with Down syndrome, about 3%. It occurs when a extra part or a whole extra chromosome 21 is present, but is located or translocated to a different chromosome rather than being a separate chromosome 21 and then we have mosaic down syndrome this type affects about two percent of people with down syndrome mosaic means mixture or com combination children with mosaic down syndrome well, sorry for children with mosaic down syndrome some of their cells have three copies of chromosome 21 but other cells have the typical two copies of chromosome 21 children with mosaic down syndrome may have the same features as other children with Down syndrome. However, they may have fewer features of the condition due to the due to the presence of some or many cells of with a typical number of chromosomes. Risk and health. Sorry. Actually, it's called causes and risk factors. The extra chromosome 21 leads to physical features and developmental challenges that can occur among people with Down syndrome. Researchers know that Down syndrome 
is caused by an extra chromosome, but no one knows for sure why Down syndrome occurs or how many different factors can play a role. One factor that increases the risk of having a baby with Down syndrome is the mother's age. Women who are 35 or older, when they become pregnant, are more likely to have a pregnancy affected by Down syndrome than women who become pregnant at a younger age. However, the majority of babies with Down syndrome are born to mothers less than 35 years old. There are, more, there are many more births among younger women. Di diagnosis. There are two basic tests available to detect Down syndrome during pregnancy, screening test and diagnostic test. A screening test can tell a woman and her health care provider whether her pregnancy has a lower or higher chance of having Down syndrome. Screening tests do not provide a absolute diagnosis, but they are safer for the mother and developing baby. Diagnostic tests can typically detect whether or not a baby will have Down syndrome, but they are more risky for the mother and the developing baby. Neither screening nor diagnostic tests can predict the full impact of Down syndrome on a baby. No one can predict this. Screening test. Screening tests often include a combination of a blood test that measures the amount of, of various, various substances in the mother's blood and an ultrasound, which occurs, sorry, which creates a picture of the baby. During an ultrasound, one of the things that technician, technician looks at is the fluid behind the baby's neck. Extra fluid in, that, in this region can indicate a genetic problem. These screening tests can determine the baby's risk of Down syndrome. Rarely, screening tests can give an abnormal result even when there is nothing wrong with the baby. Sometimes, the test results are normal, yet they miss a problem that does exist. Diagnostic tests. Diagnostic tests are usually performed after a positive screening test in order to confirm a Down syndrome diagnosis. Types of tests included, we have CVS, which, which examines the material of the placenta. We have angiocentesis, and I'm sorry if I said that wrong, examines the amniotic fluid or the fluid from the sac surrounding the baby. And then the last test we use, they use is a pre, sorry, a precutaneous umbilical blood sampling or PUBS, examining the blood from the umbilical cord. And sorry if I said anything of those wrong, but I tried my best. These tests look for changes in the chromosomes to, to th sorry, these tests look for changes in the chromosomes that would indicate a Down syndrome diagnosis. Other health problem. Many people with Down syndrome have common fa facial features and no other birth defects. However, some people with Down syndrome might have one or more major birth defects. Sorry about that. Oh, um, or other medical problems. Some of the more common health problems among children with Down syndrome are listed below. Hearing loss, obstructive sleep apnea, which is a condition where a person's breathing temporarily stops while asleep. We have ear infections, eye diseases, and heart defects at present, present at birth. Healthcare providers routinely monitor children with Down syndrome for these conditions. Treatment. Down syndrome is a lifelong condition. Services early in life will, help, will often help babies and children with Down syndrome to improve their physical and intellectual abilities. Most of these services focus on helping children with Down syndrome develop to their full potential. These services, services include speech, occupational, and physical therapy. They are offered through early prevention programs in each state. Children with Down syndrome may also need extra help or attention in school, although many children are included in regular classes. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'm open to any suggestions you have for any future video topics. 
Please let me know what they are in the comment section below on my Twitter page. And my Twitter handle is at Burley Mariah, and I can spell it for you, at B-U-R-L-E-Y-M-A-R-I-A-H. The next topic will be on what an emotional disability is. I hope everyone's continuing to stay safe, and I want you to know I'm praying for you, your families, and the world. I will post my notes in the comment section for anyone who needs them. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to and found and, uh, found this video to be helpful. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you think might need it. Sorry about that. If you want to be notified when I do any live streams or upload any new content, you're going to want to click the bell icon and select the all options under the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.